Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate add or drop column statements for all the tables in a SQL Server database. So let me show you why you need that. First of all, let's go ahead and connect to the SQL Server instance and go to the database where your tables are. In my case, I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT database and I have these tables. Now, if I will go to the cell info or customer, table and go to the columns I do not see two columns actually most of the time we will have four columns created on created by updated on and updated by those are called the ordered columns and that gives a lot of information when the people insert a record or update the record those columns uh, by looking at those columns value you can tell like who updated the value or who inserted the values we do not have those columns in these tables. So consider your company has decided to add those columns to these tables. Right now you have maybe 20 tables right here, but in your company case, maybe you have 200 tables. We know that we can use the alter table and then say customer add and say created on and date time. So that's one way we can run our query and uh, it will add the column to the table so let's refresh and we see that but uh, writing this query for 200 tables uh, that's going to be a lot of work uh, and especially when you need to add four columns uh, so why not uh, to use some system uh, tables and simple select query to generate these uh, uh, alter table queries uh, so how we can do that first of all uh, let me introduce you to two system uh, views information schema dot tables this uh, view is going to return us uh, the table catalog that's a database uh, table schema so the schema in which the table is and table names and uh, type of table so base table or a view so in our case uh, we are only concerned about the base table so where um, let me alias this one as a t and uh, i'm going to say where t dot uh, table type is equal to base table so only we will be adding the columns to the table not the view we, we can't really add the column to the view here okay now second uh, we need uh, the information from the view called information schema dot columns so that will return us all the columns and uh, we can see that we have a table catalog that's a database table schema and a table name and column name so from here if we will be able to get the tables uh, for which uh, created on column does not exist and we can prepare our query so let's write that query first so i'm going to use uh, remove this where clause from here say cut and leave that for end i'm going to say where not exist so first of all i'm checking uh, give me all the tables uh, from this uh, view where not exist and then i'm going to write uh, a query here kind of compare with the information schema dot columns uh, and i'm going to call this one c and i will say where c dot uh, schema name is equal to table schema is equal to t dot table schema and uh, c dot uh, table name sorry uh, table name is equal to t dot table name so we are checking and c dot column name is equal to created on so what we are doing here we are checking give me all the tables from here which does match here and that has a column but this not exist 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 part is going to remove those information so let's see if this uh, query return me total 19 record uh, and i know that there is one table that has the column created on uh, so once i compare uh, uh, this uh, i will take the outer query results uh, and say not exist uh, so uh, there is only one table uh, that's where it exists uh, so wherever it not exists uh, so those 18 uh, tables will be returned so now you see that 18 tables are returned if i'm interested uh, to see where exist i can remove the not part and now it will be returned to me where it does exist that uh, information so you see there is a one table return but we are only interested uh, 
uh, not exist so we can prepare our query uh, according to the uh, add new column now you see that uh, I have select asterisk I can uh, always uh, before asterisk uh, I can type or say colon uh, let's say my test so this is just uh, you are adding as query so you are adding the static value or a string uh, and the same query so it is going to repeat uh, the number of times uh, or number of rows uh, your query is going to return so if I will run this one it it kind of repeated for everything uh, now instead of uh, saying my test I can prepare my query say an alter table I can copy this part and paste it here now if I run it alter table is ready now if I will put this information together so I would need a schema and a table name so I can concatenate with my alter statement so I'm gonna give some space put the parentheses around say plus sign and say t dot schema name plus sign single quotes parentheses close period parentheses open and then again colon and uh, sorry uh, single quotes and say table name t dot table name plus single quotes parentheses close and uh, I can uh, add uh, add create created on and date time single quotes close as my query now we are all good here if I run this part and also I have to add this part to my query because I don't want to have the views as a part of my query so I don't want to create the alter script for the views so instead of I already have used the where class here I have to just use the and here to exclude and t dot table is equal to base table only run this one on the base tables so that's what I'm saying now you run it and you get all those scripts so alter table schema name table name add created on date time copy go to the new query and paste it and run it it ran on all of those tables and columns are added so let's go to column refresh and we see that created on is added let's say now we want to do the update on updated on column so we will just change that and run the script again and here we have to say updated on because we are checking for the column updated on run it copy paste and the new query paste run it and now if we go to columns updated on column is added now if we want to create a say created by so we will say created by and uh, it is not going to date time it is going to be war card 50 and uh, I have to check uh, in the column created by and uh, that's it you are preparing this uh, script so I think uh, this script uh, is gonna be really useful and you are learning the techniques like you can create any type of uh, table like drop constraint add constraint uh, uh, add identity column so this uh, simple part of the select uh, and uh, using them the system tables uh, is uh, giving you a lot of freedom uh, where, where you don't ask people give me eight hours because I have a hundred table or two hundred table you will create the script in minutes and maybe okay let, let, let relax a little bit test it out and give them in two hours so now we are creating uh, altering a table dbo that this table add created by and then it is going to be war char so we run it go to columns refresh and created by column is added to all the tables see all good now the same script uh, can be used to drop so let me go ahead here here we were saying not exist now we are checking if the column exists created by exist we want to create a drop so alter table schema name table name and instead of saying uh, add column we say drop drop column and created by that's all you have to say run it and now script is ready copy and go to the new window paste the query there and now you see that alter table table name drop column created by so it is generated for all of those tables so run it and it will drop the column from all of those 
tables so uh, see here till excuse me till you don't refresh it is uh, showing you but once you refresh it is gone so it ran successfully so uh, sorry created by looks uh, this one is not uh, really a column here because it has two b's here so that's not the column but uh, if i will go to other table here refresh so we don't see that because it is dropped from all the tables now if uh, you are interested uh, let's say uh, you, you, we have a staging schema and we have a dbo schema and all that you can always uh, filter the records and here remember we filter the records saying okay t dot table uh, base table and the same thing you can say t and t dot schema name is equal to stg so in those cases uh, uh, if you are interested only to generate the script for staging tables or in the DBO scheme or wherever you can always filter those records and only generate the scripts for them I will go ahead and put this information in the description also this is available on the techbrothersit.com and if you go to this SQL Server T-SQL tutorial I'm writing this uh, or creating this tutorial step by step also I'm writing and making videos so you if you go on the chapter 5 and under that you will go to the last uh, uh, topic that's the 16 number and here we have uh, the same script but uh, I use the variables so instead of uh, making changes here in the query itself I use two variables so that that's actually better way so you will just make changes here instead of making your queries uh, so you don't have to change anything here once you provide the values here it will generate the queries for you if you are want to drop then you will be using drop uh, statement here instead of add so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video I hope you learned something out of it and enjoyed uh, the new way to create your uh, alter scripts for multiple tables so 